needing to, to tweak now that it's now that I've seen it on the wall. There's some things that you just don't really get to see until you've got it on something this big. There's no drawing that I can do on paper that would represent the size of this wall. Well, what happens on a two-dimensional surface when you're representing three-dimensional perspective is that you're going to get a lot of distortion from different points in the room and you have to choose which position is the most ideal. Now for me, it's going to be right as you're approaching the front counter, right over there. And from there, I'm not liking how sharp the perspective is. The perspective right now is as if you're standing maybe 100 feet away from the building and as you look up, you see that roof line coming down towards the vanishing point, yet the mountain behind it is like you're far away and zoomed in real quick because of, because of proportionally how much bigger the mountain is than those buildings. That suggests that you're far away and zoomed in because if you were to see a little town buried on the edge of a mountain, that town would be tiny. But if you're standing right up against those buildings, then the mountain becomes small behind it because of the perspective. So then what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna raise the roof line of that Babbitt building up there and change some perspective on the buildings. I'm gonna get rid of that truck because it's going the wrong way on the left lane of the road. And, and I don't wanna deal with the hundreds of questions from everybody if I come in at daytime. I'm here after hours, the store's closed now. And so I'm gonna to try to get this all done by morning so that everyone will just see it and it'll make sense. Cardboard cutout. Look how real that looks. Not real. How do you like the mural frame? 